Now the story goes that there were two sisters who both fell in love with the same man and he for his part fell in love with the younger of the two sisters and he courted her and eventually they got married. Now the older sister seemed to have got over her jealousy. She seemed to be able to live with the fact that these two were now a couple and in fact they had a son and then a year later they had another son and she seemed to be the ideal auntie to their little boys. And so everything seemed to have settled down and they all seemed to be living happily in the same village. And it so happened one springtime there was one of these really big spring tides. That's where the tide goes right out far further than it normally would do. It's all to do with the effect of the magnetic field of the moon on the tides. And so the tide was very much further out, exposing huge areas of the beach that normally wouldn't be exposed. And some of these were areas of rocks, where there was a lot of shellfish growing on the rocks. Now, the two sisters decided it would be a great idea to go out and collect some of the shellfish and bring it in, because there was so much of it and it was such a beautiful day. Now, whether the older sister had been planning something all along or whether it just came to her at the time, we'll never know. But off they went out together, the two sisters together, leaving the children with their grandmother. And they went further and further out on the rocks because it was such a lovely warm day. The older sister said, let's just rest a while and enjoy the sun. And she suggested that her sister sit with her head on her knee and she would comb her hair for her. And so she began to comb. And the younger sister, tired out with looking after the children and all the housework she had to do and the long walk across the beach, began to fall asleep in the sunshine. And as the older sister combed and combed, she fell into a deeper and deeper sleep. And after a while, the older sister began to pleat the young girl's hair. And she began to pleat it. And as she was pleating, she began to pleat pieces of seaweed into the young girl's hair and as she went on she pleated more and more seaweed into the long hair until her head was very firmly fixed to the seaweed in the rocks and then very very gently so as not to disturb her the older sister gently moved her younger sister's head off her knee and stood up and returned with her basket back to the village saying that they'd split up at some stage and she couldn't really remember where her younger sister had gone but she was sure she'd be back soon. But of course time passed and the tide began to turn and the sea began to come back in and of course it began to get a lot colder. The sun was going down and the water was lapping round her ankles and the young girl woke up and tried to lift her head off the rock but of course she couldn't because her hair was so firmly fastened to the rocks and the tide rose higher and it came up to her knees and over her legs up to her waist and still she couldn't lift her head off the rocks. And finally the tide rose right up and covered her head and her face and there she was, drowned on the rocks with the sea over her. And during the night her husband woke. He'd had a bad dream and he thought he heard a voice. And what he heard was the voice of his wife's ghost singing the song. In the morning the boat will come and my brothers will be in it and my loved one and they'll find me here, drowned on the rock. My curse is on the jealous woman that left me here to drown.